Hello friends, my name is Surreal Emil and welcome back to a Need for Speed Underground 2. This time we are going to be doing more front wheel drive drifting because why not? Let's get on with it. <laughs> so in the last episode um, we owned the competition at drifting and I got a sponsorship deal with Eurolite and they require us to do more drifting. And there's a Sylvia and some Corollas because, you know, <laughs> they're normal drifting cars, but our little Peugeot isn't a, a drifting car. But it will still probably win anyway because Need for Speed Logic, right? Because this little front wheel drive hatchback can apparently drift just as well as the rear wheel drive cars because, yeah, why not? <laughs> So I don't think they'll all be that easy. I think as uh, time goes on, the uh, drifting events will definitely get a lot harder. And yeah, don't worry, we will... Um, <laughs> for those of you who hate the Peugeot, which I assume is actually quite a few of you, uh, don't worry, because uh, we'll probably have a new car shortly. Uh, so that's fun, but the Peugeot is a decent start vehicle, and it's winning us races, and I actually really like it, because it's a Peugeot 106, and how can you not like the Peugeot 106? You know, it's fun. It's cutesy. <laughs> uh. Do 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 do. Something about nitrous. Um. Yeah, we already know about the performance shop. Okay, more drift events. <laughs> more front wheel drive drifting. Uh, we've already got that. Is it a body shop over there or a performance shop? I don't know. Uh, we might need some performance mods soon because I did a drift event, uh, drift event, a uh, drag event in the Peugeot and it was a little bit slow. So I don't know, we might need some upgrades shortly, but eh. For now, we're making really good bank. <laughs> we have got like quite a lot of money. Now, I do know there is actually a magazine uh, cover which we need to do. I don't necessarily know if we'll be doing that in the Peugeot, uh, but we've got to do that at some point, so, you know. <laughs> I don't particularly want to race out the Peugeot, just because I actually quite like this car. But, you know, the next car, hope, I think the next couple of... Oh, God, Christ. Okay, that's a bit of an issue. Get out of neutral. Um, that would probably help. But... Uh, I assume the next roundup of cars is going to be a bit more, you know, moddable, so... Yeah, we'll definitely be modding some cars, don't worry, because that's kind of what Need for Speed is about, is modding these cars. This is basically body roll drifting, isn't it? That's just the whole point of this. Anyway, we've won again by a, a, a margin. <laughs> oh, a uh, quick thing as well, if you haven't watched the last few, which if you haven't, then I seriously go suggest you do. But, otherwise you won't really know what's happening here. But basically, uh, the... AI is on the hardest difficulty, and we're kicking their asses because, you know, why not? <laughs> the loading screens are so long, and there's so many of them. <laughs> is there another inbox that it's on about? Because it's all. It's just. Oh, we have to. Yes, yes, whatever. Don't need that, don't care, don't care. The only thing I really need to know about is when we get new stuff. Um, that's about it. Right, I did find out where the map was. Oh, we do have a URL event. Excellent. There's also... Right, we'll go do that drift event. Uh, just because it's another sponsorship challenge. And then we'll go do the, the uh, URL event. And yeah, or Underground Racing League. <laughs> Big up to my brothers in the URL league, yo. <laughs> You've been making the internet bearable. Right. Let us use the speed of the Peugeot. Um, yeah, the, per the Peugeot is a good car and all, but it just has no speed. We're also using a five-speed transmission because why not? <laughs> because, you yeah, know, I don't think... Actually, no... Um, it's quite funny. If you look at the older race cars and everything, like pre-90s, none of them have six gears. Did uh, no one figure out how a six-speed works until, like, <laughs> when it, whenever it was, like 1990? Yeah, it's quite funny. And then, of course, you know, we fi 
the Americans have now figured out how a six, six speed work, but then they sort of gone mad with it. I don't know if you've seen the new Jeep Renegade. That thing has a nine speed gearbox. When in the world will I ever need a nine speed gearbox? That's like less than 10 miles an hour per gear. My, my car is like five gears and does like 90, so that's what, about 15 mile an hour odd per gear? It's just, I don't know. I would quite like a six gear in my car, but you know, it's not there, so yeah. I don't bitch. Right, let's just go and win another event against some drift cars and smash into them and ruin all their driftings. This is how we should have to win the events, by smashing into them, but according to uh, more like good old Need for Speed logic, you know, Peugeot equals drift car because why not? Uh, <laughs> that, that Corolla looks so silly. I love it how the game like gives most cars like light mods and stuff, but doesn't give them like actual like genuine modifications. It's quite funny. Also, I love it how we actually got some challenge in this drift event. That's uh, interesting. We are actually losing. Huh. What do you know? Oh, well, time to win. It's basically if you go on the curbs, you just automatic win. Uh, is basically how these drift events work. Yeah, we, we've won now. Maybe I should take it our second gear because it's a bit low and slow, but yeah. It is what it is. Now, I'm just trying to wonder, do we actually do any engine mods to this car before we go into the Underground Racing League? I don't know, because... Uh, I've got a sneaky suspicion we could probably do it. Um, so, I might just uh, leave it. <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely think we could win. Sorry, I was checking the recording's working. Right, speed, power, all the rest of it. Let's go. Use the speed. Speed Peugeot. <laughs> oh, I love it on this game as well. You can get custom uh, speedos. We really could do with that. And I mean speedos as in... Yeah, I know. Our transmissions work. <sighs> right, let's do it. Let's see if we get our asses handed to us or not. Oh, it's on the proper racing track as well. Uh, yeah, that cutscene. Basically, we break into this track because, you know, we're, we're so illegals and stuff. <laughs> Even though this Bayview City... Clearly needs some policing. Oh, Jesus Christ. More magnificent wings. Again, more NFS logic for you there. And Lara Croft is starting the race. Alright, let's do this. Speed! I cannot be beaten by voxel courses. No way. Okay, apparently they're trying to kill each other because they're voxel courses. Right, let's go. <laughs> Coming up to the first corner, this is a... Uh, this is actually quite a fun racetrack to drive around. Uh, you can get about 45 second laps out of it. Which, I mean, that's one thing that Forza lacks, is decent, you know, small tracks. They didn't really have any in Forza 5, and luckily in 6 it looks like we're getting some. I would prefer if Tsuba could finally come back, but we'll have to see about that one. Right. Speed, speed. There's a Corsa. It's being pushed by the Corolla. No, they are teaming up against the mighty Peugeot. <laughs> oh, God, them courses just look so ridiculous. The worst bit about it is them courses are actually probably modelled off courses, which I've seen in real life. Oh, God, he, he's going flat out as well. When in doubt, flat out, and that especially applies to a Peugeot because you're always flat out in a Peugeot. Use the courser as a brake. Yes, oh, we can tell I called a flat out at 100 miles an hour because realism. Who needs realism in Need for Speed? We just want cars that go broom broom and go fast. No, that's changed views. Right, they do have the advantage in a straight line, but we have more cojones. So, you know, <laughs> balances itself out. This is actually... Oh, God. Okay. Uh, this is actually quite a uh, close race. I've got to be honest. I'm impressed. Maybe, yeah, this is sort of the start where you need to start thinking about performance mods. But we all know, of course, when we were young that uh, this event is impossible because we spent all our money on racing. 
uh, whatever car we had. I think I haven't started this game in anything that's not a Peugeot 106 before. Uh, yeah, I, we might lose. I've got to be honest, it, it's looking quite likely uh, that that Corolla has just got so much speed. Hopefully he spins out. I didn't say that. Go on, Jason. Have a humongous crash. No, it doesn't look like he's going to. Oh, Peugeot. Peugeot power. Yeah. I, I, no. I think we need some performance mods, um, to be honest with you. So, let's go and get some uh, performance mods. We don't need much, because, let's be honest, we were winning that race. To be fair, if I restarted that race, I could win it. At least I think I could. But, um, yeah, we've got 6,200 credits, so let's go. Oh, bank, sorry. Um, what's the performance shop look like? Can't remember. Is it blue or... No, red's graphics, blue's... Body mods? No, blue's performance, isn't it? I think so. I don't know. Let's just go to the blue one and see what happens. Mind you, oh, it's the dark blue one, isn't it? Because the light blue one's the car lot. Um, funny thing is, we could actually just trade this car in that right now if we wanted to. Obviously, we won't because it's the mighty Peugeot and, you know... <laughs> I bet if we traded it in, just a thousand 106s would show up in our races and, you know, beat our whatever we decided to get to death, so. There we go, performance mods, there's some money in the back corner, fantastic. There we go, that 50, that 50 bank will help us out. Right, let's go. Enter the performance shop. If your GTI needs more GT in it. Uh, right, we'll get street suspension. Uh, what do we want? Oh, I forgot about this. You can actually choose who you want to do your parts. Uh, let's go with skunks, because why not? Uh, ECU tuning, that gives us a bit better stuff, so let's have that. Uh, HKS is a cool brand. NSFU2 is basically just the game. Should we go with this as well? I don't know. Uh, ooh, transmission would be quite nice. How much is it? Oh, we can buy individual parts as well. That's what's really cool. Short throw shifting kit. That looks like something that could be useful to us. Uh, don't really need a flywheel, I don't think. Uh, we've got suspension. Do we want Noz? <laughs> all of the Noz. Uh, oh, and all that stuff. Apparently not there. Okay, so I think we should be alright. I've upgraded the suspension, done the ECU... And we've got a short throw transmission, I think it said. Uh, so basically, I think that's what you had in the 208. Um, that The transmission on the 208, if you've never driven one, is fantastic. It's brilliant. The gearbox is superb in that car. Anyway. Onwards to victory. It doesn't feel any faster. Actually, I don't know. I guess it probably is a little bit faster says it is that short throw transmission isn't working <laughs> it was a hundred bucks though so what do you expect <laughs> sorry bank it is strange i'm so used to saying credits or pounds at this point and you know <laughs> i'm sure the americans hate me when i say pounds and i'm sure you know everyone hates me when i say credits uh and quid is just no do not say the word quid Okay, I think we've got a bit more low range power now. It definitely feels like it's climbing, um, you know, the revs actually do climb in lower gears, whilst this car just had no speed before. Ooh, there's some money there as well. Excellent. Oh, another 50 bank. <laughs> that 50 bank is going to help. Right, let's go. No. The Bayview Speedway. Speedway. It's not really Speedway, is it? I mean, the Speedway is a bank track, isn't it? I think so. Uh, do, 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 do. There's a Peugeot 106. And a really terrible looking Mazda Miata. And Lara Croft's there again. Your Peugeot will not have ECU tuning. Oh, look at that launch we get. <laughs> that car's even got neon on it. 
Oh, God, Christ. Okay. Um, <laughs> does hard AI mean hard AI towards them as well? <laughs> because I assume they're just knocking each other out. Okay. Uh, of course, it's the mighty Peugeots at the front, and my Peugeot is mightier because I don't have those um, added weight rear light clusters. Oh, God. Right. It's a... Uh, <laughs> It's, a, it's kind of a scary corner, that, because this guard does snap, but it's like a fine line between whether it's actually going to stick or not. I, mean, I love how in the last race I was braking for that corner. You don't actually need to brake. You can just go flat out through all of the corners on this because reasons. Um, Speed round the corner. Doo -doo 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 -doo. There's some ski scrapers. <laughs> That's a very tall skyscraper there. Hmm. Massive. I bet it's not solid. Uh, right. We're in fifth gear. We're doing 113 miles an hour. I assume most Peugeot 106s don't do 113 miles an hour. Go, car. Use your speed. We have none of that speed. <laughs> actually, no. I'm going to be honest. As much as it is a bit of a joke, I do actually like this car and I think it's a fantastic handling car as well actually it's really good no uh, I mean what we've uh, we just spent a grand on it and it's now superb there's no body roll to it so I guess it's gonna be worse in the drift events just because apparently body roll is kind of the way we win them drift events but yeah it, it's clearly taking it to the competition I was about to say I assume it's stupid if I think we have six gears I don't even know if anything does have six gears. Can you upgrade a car to a six speed in this game? I'm not sure. Power. Speed. That underground 2 license plate is uh, what's getting the speed up here. Yeah, this is... Um, unless I have a horrendous crash, which is... Well, it's me, so that's quite likely. Uh, no, we are going to win. <laughs> So basically, this isn't a close race anymore. The Peugeot is still dominant. There we go. I assume, because it's a URL race, we are going to make all our bank back from that. Yeah, we have. Fantabulous. There we go. We even got some reputation points. I, I still don't know what the reputation points are. Okay, we got to head down to the lock and pick us a new ride. Exciting times. I love how them cars don't look too bad, but her face is like the most pixelated thing ever. I believe it's just one pixel. Um, it's quite funny going back to these games, because I swear they didn't look this bad back in the day. Or, actually, no, to be fair to this game, Gran Turismo 4 that I had on my PS2, I don't know if it's just the dodgy port I've got or something on it, but yeah, yeah that looks pretty horrendous yesterday. This game doesn't actually look that bad. Like The car models are fairly decent. The city, obviously, is a bit here and now there but yeah <laughs> let's go pick us a new ride oh actually hmm decisions decisions do I leave it on a cliffhanger um you know what, actually we'll drive to the car lot first there's some money there as well excellent more bank speed there we go, an extra 50 quid. Right, anyway, friends, uh, that's going to be it for this episode. Join me next time to see if we pick a decent car from the car lot. Until next time, 